Yay, baby sister. How are you? Fine. Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't do that often enough. Good. You're in a good mood. I am in a terrific mood, friends. Oh, I wonder what this could be. It's a box. It might be a gift. I think it's a gift. For whom? Someone in this room, possibly. A brunette, maybe. Yeah? Yeah. What's I bought inside? us a gift today. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Take a look at this. Oh, Rhoda, suede jacket. Yeah. That is beautiful. An 11? Who's a size 11? We are. You're a 13, I'm a 9. <laughs> We're an 11. <laughs> Rhoda, what is uh, going on? Oh, Brenda. Now, now, I don't want to be one of those people who makes big news, you know, out of something that really, you know, isn't important to anyone else. Oh, you mean like when Ma had all her friends over the first time I shaved my legs? <laughs> yeah, 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 just well, like Rhoda, that. Rhoda, what are you worrying about stuff like that with me for? Hey, come on. Yeah, you're right. Brent? Yeah. <sighs> Today, I decided that I'd admit to myself that the business is doing good. Well, see, I'm the business. So I guess that means that I'm doing good. Yeah. Now, I really must be doing something right because Myrna is out there selling, I mean, up a storm, day and night. Rhoda, of course you're doing something right. That's not news. I already knew that. You're a great window dresser. Shh, shh, don't say that. Listen, I've always been afraid that, you know, when things are going good, that from out of the blue is going to come a bolt of lightning. <laughs> but you know something? Yeah. Things are really... Not half bad. <laughs> so, I gotta run. I gotta continue on my good cheer missions here. Uh, I've given Joe his gift. Oh, yeah, where is it? Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to explain, Brent. Don't oh, ask well, me to. No, no, what is it? What? <laughs> I mean, well, okay. What it is, is Myrna read this magazine article, right? And it tells you how to take someone that you love and make his fantasy come true for one night. Wow! <laughs> what exactly does that involve? <laughs> Anything he wants. I mean, the night that he has always dreamed of. And Myrna found this idea, huh? <laughs> Our little Myrna. Our little Myrna is getting bigger every day. Well, she sure gets great ideas. Boy, you know, I know what my fantasy evening would be. What? Well, this guy shows up at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Go on. That's it. <laughs> Damon takes a look at the Buffalo defense. Drops back. He's got plenty of time and fires complete to Barkham at the 45. Hi, Joe. Right oh, hi, babe. Game's almost over. <laughs> okay, Joe. Um, are you listening? Okay, good. Um, I'm not going to beat around the bush. This is going to be the greatest night of your life. It's your time. It's your fantasy come true. This night has been set aside especially for you, for me to give you everything your heart desires. What are you talking about? I am saying that starting right now till morning, you can have anything you want. You serious? Yeah. All right, second and seven. <laughs> Boy, things sure change when you come home. Fantasy, huh? How do you start? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think we've started, though, because at least we're talking about it. I think the thing is you have to tell me your fantasy, and then uh, we go from there. Now, you got to know that everybody's is different. For instance, Myrna read in this magazine that uh, one guy wanted his wife to dress in a leotard and juggle ping pong balls while he shot at her with a water pistol. <laughs> Rhoda, somehow I don't think that's us. Oh, no, I don't think it's us either. What, are you kidding? I mean, I just gave it as an example, you know, to give you support in case you felt silly if you want to uh, suggest something a little... <laughs> but I don't mean that we should... Look, I don't even play ping pong. <laughs> so... <sighs> so what? <laughs> so what is your fantasy? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. I mean, it, it's really tough to come up with a fantasy on short notice. Come on. <laughs> oh, besides, I feel silly. Oh, no, come 
on, Joe. What's it to feel silly about? I'm giving you a gift. I mean, it's it's your evening, your fantasy. Come on, just name it. Okay. You got it? Okay, let me sit down. Here's my fantasy. Uh-huh. I want you to wait on me hand and foot. What? <laughs> yeah, I want you to cook for me and, well, bring me sandwiches when I want it. Well, lay out my pajamas, test my bath water. You know, stuff like that. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's your fantasy. A sandwich and a bath. Hey, now, wait a minute. You know, in England, because of the fuel shortage, the government wants people to take baths together. A proud people, the English. <laughs> Oh, no, I'll get it. This is your night, big fella. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Oh, Myrna, how you doing? You're still in the business meeting. How's it going? Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. I can't believe it. Joe, we just got another account. Milton's infant wear is ours. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, you really like my sketches, huh? Did he? What do you, what do you mean? You don't know. Myrna, you show a man sketches, you get the account. That means that he liked the sketches. But why didn't you show him the sketches? What do you mean my sketches get in the way? How did you make the sale then if you, if you didn't show him the sketches? What did you show him? <laughs> oh, now wait, slow down. Myrna, tell me exactly what you did. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Myrna, listen. Um, I don't know how to say this, but uh, giggling, touching his sleeve, and leading him to believe that a date with you would be a biggie does not constitute a business meeting. <laughs> I, I want you in the office first thing tomorrow morning. Really early. We have got to talk. Boy, it never, never fails. Just when you start to feel like you're worth something. Just when you think you might be, you know, might be a success. And you find out you're only getting someplace because Myrna knows how to giggle, touch, and tease. I, what's the use? What am I working for, Joe? I mean, you know, what am I knocking myself out for? I mean, what is the use of it all? Rhoda? Yeah. Does this mean the fantasy is off? <laughs> This is getting in early. Rhoda, it... please, I, I want you to meet our new client. Milton's Infant Wear? No, Phil Faber of Precision Muffler Shops. Oh. It's tremendous meeting you. Oh, well, it's uh, fantastic hearing you say that. So, uh, you're our new account, are you? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, Precision Mufflers? How could that be? I never did any window sketches for you. Oh, that's okay. He doesn't have any windows. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get some. We really are. And when we do, I know you can do a great job with them. Hey, it was just a pleasure meeting you, Miss Morgenstern. Thank you, Mr. Faber. <laughs> See you, Red. <laughs> Boy, what a morning I've had. <laughs> work, work, work. <laughs> Myrna, I will not have you doing that sort of thing in here. This is a place of business. This was business. That was business? I've been selling, Rhoda, selling. That's the name of the game. Okay, okay, don't get me wrong, Myrna. Myrna, I appreciate your dedication, I do, but we have all the jobs we can handle. Perhaps, maybe, you are selling too much. Selling too much? What do you mean? Thanks to me, you're getting quite a reputation. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Look, Myrna, there's been a question on my mind for a while now uh, regarding your relationship with our customers. I am afraid to ask. What is it? No, because I think I know what the answer is, and it will only make it worse hearing it. That's smart, Rhoda. Because so often, even though people know they won't enjoy hearing a particular answer, they still ask the question and end up with the only possible reply. Well, those are self-destructive people, Myrna. They certainly are. The question is, 
how many of our customers are you dating? <laughs> dating. <laughs> how many customers do we have? <laughs> 14. 14? I'm dating 14. It seems like more. <laughs> You can't be dating all our customers. I am. Well, well, what about Philip and Philip's luggage? I mean, Phil's gay. Not anymore. <laughs> yes, he is. Windows by Rhoda. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah, how an awfully nice of you to call. Yeah. Oh, listen, babe, it was a very special night for me, too. No, no, no. It was a good thing you called. This is the one bright spot in an otherwise disastrous morning. Yeah. Listen, I'll uh, call you later. Oh, I love you too. Bye. Which one of our customers was that? <laughs> that wasn't a customer. Who talks to customers like that? That was my husband. Who talks to husbands like that? <laughs> Let's just forget about the business part. Let's talk friendship. I'm your friend. I care about you. I don't think it's good for you to date everybody you meet. Why not? Well, Myrna, I mean, look, we went to high school together, right? Even though things have really started to get freer, things aren't so different today. Do you remember what we used to call a girl who dated everybody? Joyce. <laughs> come on, Myrna, come on. You know what I'm talking here. I mean, you know that you are wrong. You can't say it's wrong. Oh, boy, Rhoda, you sure can't say it's wrong. Because you're the one who's always saying you shouldn't judge other people. In this case, I can make an exception. A anybody would say you're wrong. Anybody from Dale Evans to Charo would say you're wrong. Rhoda. Yes? Until one year ago, my social life consisted of grading high school English papers. The only romance I had was a few dates with a biology teacher who never quite caught the smell of frog off his hands. <laughs> so, so maybe I'm just making up for a little lost time. Rhoda, how do you think we are going to make any money if I don't charm the customers? <laughs> what about my ability as a window dresser? You think that we can make sales on the basis of your ability as a window dresser? <laughs> What, are, what else are we selling? Charm and fun. I mean, I go out there, Rhoda. Yeah, I go out there and there's a lot of people representing window dressers, but our clients come to us because I'm the... Okay, I'll say it. The cute little redhead they can't wait to see each week. Okay. When is your next appointment and who's it with? This afternoon, Bentley's Glassware. I've been trying to land this account for months. I will land that account. Sans charm and fun. <laughs> How? I will whip up some sketches first off. Oh, yes, Myrna. I do show sketches in order to make a sale. That's how that's done. Yeah. Then I will change into something respectable. And I will go to see you, Mr. Bentley. And when I do, I will prove that business can be strictly business. By the way, where'd you say you're meeting him? His apartment. <laughs> Brenda, does my hair look all right? Yeah, it looks great. Just what I don't want. I'm telling you, it's murder. It's just as hard to dress so the guys won't notice you as it is to dress so that they will. Hmm. I've never experienced that. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I think this fellow knows that I'm not like Myrna because I refuse to go to his apartment for the meeting. But even so, I don't want to dress like I'm coming on. What about these shoes, Bren? Do these shoes look like they're just waiting to be kicked off? <laughs> Rhoda, I have never seen you like this. What are you worried about? I'm worried that this guy's gonna think I'm trying to be cute. I don't think you got a thing to worry about. <laughs> uh, why can't you have a business relationship with a man without the fact that you're a woman getting in the way? You know, cute does have a definite place in business. I mean, even at the bank, all the guys flirt. I hear tell. <laughs> Brenda, I have a great deal on my mind. Please do me a favor. I cannot deal with you putting yourself down. Rhoda, I am just telling the truth. All the best-looking girls are put in the new accounts department. You know, right out front in the first window so everybody sees them. You want to put your money in that bank when you walk in there and you see that pretty face. 
Want to know where they started me? No. <laughs> Go ahead, ask me. I'll give you a hint. It wasn't new accounts. Brenda, I don't want to know. In the vault, rolling down. <laughs> I'm Rhoda Morgenstern, the window dresser. Oh, yes, yes. Excuse me. I'll be with you in a moment. I just have to finish this up. You understand. Oh, yes, certainly. Don't mention it. Thank you. Of course. that this happened. I cannot believe it. Really, I'm, I, I'm so sorry. I mean, just when you're trying to make an impression on somebody, right? You turn into King Klutz. <laughs> wow. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for everything that I've broken, really. No, no, really, I insist. I must pay for this. Look, I, I broke it. Please, it was my clumsiness. How long is it gonna take you to realize that no one's arguing with you? <laughs> Al! Sorry. Really, I, I, I am going to pay for this. I, I am. How much is it? Don't pay me now. I'll just start a tab for you. What do you say uh, we move away from this 8550 worth of broken china? Let's talk over here by the Melmac. Al, I'm sorry. I can't tell you how upset I am about this. I mean, I'm terribly upset. See, today is sort of an experiment. I, for the past months, I, I, I haven't worked outside of the office, so I, what can I say to you? I, I, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. Really, really. I mean, you're cute. You can get away with it. Listen, um... No offense, but uh, I wish you wouldn't talk to me like that. Why not? Just whether I'm cute or not cute, or who's cute, or whether anybody here is cute, doesn't matter. <laughs> Cuteness does not count. No cute, okay? Why are you here? <laughs> Where's Myrna? Uh, Myrna could have come, but uh, I thought uh, maybe I'd like to try uh, selling. And you started with me. Happy day. <laughs> Myrna is a terrific gal, you know. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Look, I just want to get this very clear up front. Myrna is a terrific gal. I am not a terrific gal. <laughs> Somehow that news does not come as a surprise. <laughs> all right, all right, listen. I know, I grant you, I have not been particularly charming this far, but, I mean, you know, what difference does it make? Because what I lack in charm, I make up for in work. Oh, Al, listen. She's sorry. Yeah. <laughs> So what I'm saying is that I am not interested in anything else, okay? Mm -hmm. So, let's get to business here. I would like you to look at some sketches I've done for your window. Hey, uh, what makes you think that I'm interested in anything else, huh? Have I come on to you in any way, huh? Okay, yeah, let's just forget it. You're right, Mr. Ben. Ralph. Just let me show you my sketches. That's all Strictly. I want to look at, that's all. I mean, obviously, I didn't ask you down here to tell you that you got a great-looking pair of legs. I appreciate that. <laughs> Though now that I think about it, you do have a great-looking pair of legs. Ah, come on, mister. Will you give me a break here? All I want to do is, is just sell my work. I also came wanting to believe that there are still people doing business without trying to get some action on the side. Huh? Now, I am trying very hard, although it's difficult, to consider you a person in that category. Are you finished? Yes. Can I be frank with you? Yes. Your legs aren't that great. <laughs> Wonderful, terrific, so let's forget about my legs and okay. just get down to business. Okay, right? okay. Okay. You all right now? Yes, except for that. <laughs> this bothers you? Yes, it does. How about this? <laughs> Ditto. Ditto. All right, all right, I'm going to show you something, okay? Huh? Al, Al, would you come over here, please? I want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, Mr. Bandley? I'll call him Ralph. No, 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 no. You call me Ralph. He calls me Mr. Bentley. Listen, I want you to check on last Friday's order. Tell him if we can't have it here by the end of the month, we don't want it, all right? Right? 
See? Al doesn't mind if I put my arm on his shoulder. Now, what does that indicate to you? Maybe you should be spending more time with Al. <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny. Yeah. You know what, lady? Huh? I hope you don't think this is flirting. But I don't like you very much. <laughs> Look how perfect that is. I don't like you very much either, Ralph. Mr. Bentley. And I'll tell you something else. You know, you could take a couple of lessons from that partner of yours. You know, she always comes in here with a smile on her face. I have the feeling she leaves the same way. <laughs> hey, you may not want to hear this and you may not believe it, but there is always something sexual going on between a man and a woman. They may not acknowledge it, but it's there. Kind of like St. Louis. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, except for one thing. I want you to know that before I'd hire you, I'd stand naked in my windows to attract customers. You would stop! <laughs> okay, lady. Okay, Ralph. Does this mean I didn't get the job? You got it. I got it, I got what? You got it that you didn't get it. <laughs> Terrific. Terrific, that's all I wanted to know. I was just asking to make sure. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I'm oh, gonna need please. my portfolio, yeah, my yeah. sketch. My sketches, my stuff. Uh -huh. I will just get out of here. Oh, that's please, all. please. Oh, and the 8550 for the plates? Sue me! <laughs> What's really, truly crummy is that you never, ever even looked at my work. All right, come on, come on, I'll look at your work. Here's one of the sketches. This is a bull. What do you think I'm running here, a butcher shop? I didn't think the joke was that subtle. This is a china shop, right? That's a bull. <laughs> Yeah, now, now read the caption. We don't care who you are. Come in and browse. Well, maybe I'm crazy, but I think that will attract more customers than your you break it, you own it sign. <laughs> and it's not just a sign. No, no, it's going to be the whole window. It's going to look like a whole stampede of bulls coming into your shop. I mean, the whole angle of the window is to focus customers, crowds of customers into the store. Your store, your successful store. Yeah. Why does this have to happen to me? You're ruining my whole day. Wait a minute. Does that mean you like it? Yes. Does that mean I have the job? That depends. How often do you have to come around? <laughs> Not often. Anytime you say. Make it Thursdays. That's my day off. 